Hi, welcome back. Um, let me get rid of those D's. Uh, so we've been working a while with um, various Emacs packages, um, navigation, autocomplete is now done. Uh, so I thought it would be nice to have a quick video here just uh, to make things look a little prettier. So this is the way Emacs looks by default. Um, it's doing font locking for the code stuff, which is uh, font locking is the syntax highlighting. So you'll see uh, use packages in that purple color, autocomplete green, etc. But um, a lot of people uh, don't like this color scheme, so they want to use other ones. And fortunately, with Emacs, there are loads and loads and loads of themes. Um, you could always search on Emacs themes. I'll put a link on the blog post to the theme gallery. Um, but even right out of the box, uh, it comes with a few themes. So if you run customize themes, Escape X or Alt X customize themes, and you'll see it, maybe it's a little bigger. Um, and I'll just use the mouse to click on these. You have different themes and you can get an idea of what they look like. Um, just clicking on a whole bunch of them, Wombat, Whiteboard, uh, you know, etc., etc. Uh, let's just quit out of this. This was uh, Manoj Dark. Um, so we'll quit out of that. We have a different looking theme now. And um, so that, that's a good starting point. You could also use the customize menus to actually customize the themes and change them. Um, if there's a theme you like, you could always do, um, I think you can do uh, Alt X, whoops, ah, Alt X load theme and give it a name. So why don't we try light blue? And there's the light blue theme. Or in your Emacs startup, if you want, you can say, uh, let's say something like load dash theme and we'll use Leuven, and that true basically tells it to uh, use yes for any default option. Some themes say, uh, do you want to run the code in here because it can have weird effects, uh, but it usually is okay. And if we execute this line right out, we now have that theme. So, um, so this lets you play a little bit with built-in themes. If you want more themes, there's a nice package out there called a color theme. And we'll just install that. And color theme comes with a bunch of themes. There used to be something, though, there is a command called um, color theme select, but this doesn't always work. It, notice it's not working here. It's ace jump foreground failed. I've always had problems with that, which is unfortunate. Um, so instead, uh, you can um, do things like escape back to color theme and then just select one and play with ones. I don't know. I mean, I'll just, uh, let's look at uh, charcoal black. Okay. Um, so this color theme package will give you a lot of options that you can work with. Um, what I personally like, I like a theme called Zenburn, and you actually install that using um, using the same load theme that I showed you before, because uh, it is a regular theme, but we just first have to install the package. So we'll save the file here. And if we run this now, um, should have loaded the theme. Let's see, uh, load theme Zenburn. Uh, why is it not doing that? Loading a theme with list code really load. Yes, it should. View the future sessions. Um, and there you have it. Um, so that's the Zenburn theme. I'm just going to check and I'm going to change the code here. I'm not going to reshoot this video, but um, make sure that I have that code right for loading the Zenburn theme through use package to make sure everything is good. Um, and that's it. So um, please let me know if the theme that I use for future videos um, looks good and shows up well, or if I should just go back to the default, or if there's a theme that I should try. Um, and okay, so enjoy.